Good morning, Portland. 7.40 a.m. Looking cloudy as hell, but beautiful. I still love you. We got a train bridge over there, just chilling. We out here, traffic's cleared up. Heading way, way down in the distance, heading to North Portland uh, for this first service call today. Should be pretty good. So uh, here we go. Coming for you. About to do a condensate pan and a, a pressure switch on a on a jacked up uh, high efficient York furnace. Here we go. All right, here's the beast. This one's actually. This one's not super new, but this is a York, York High Efficient. Got the parts right here. New pressure switch, new condensate pan, source one. Man, that brings back a lot of memories. I remember uh, back when we were a Coleman dealer and uh, dude, Coleman's furnaces, you had to replace like all the collector boxes and switches because they would just leak terrible. All right, so here we go. Get my flashlight. Yo, if you guys, if you guys don't have a big Larry, big Larry flashlight in your bag, you guys are missing out. It's got one, two, it's got two brightnesses plus a flashing red. It's pretty sweet. And then the bottom's got a magnet on it, so you can just like find a spot on the furnace. Bam. That's it. Magnet. Right. And then we got light to work with, so. Anyway, looking at this York, you can see typical collector box leak. Um, let me grab my other flashlight, and then we'll look at the side down here. So, down there you can see there's water water leaking down. That's pretty typical. Um, those, the seal, the gaskets on those are just bad. So, we're gonna swap that, swap that out today. Swap out the pressure switch. Um, yeah. So the, basically that whole inducer has got to come out. Uh, if you've never done that before, it looks intimidating, but it's actually, it's pretty easy. So um, yeah, I'm just going to get to it, rip it out, swap it, get it done. York. So I'm using this, uh, this Malco uh, quarter inch, five sixteenths reversible nut driver on my Makita Impact doing the, uh, Man, we're blurry as hell. Doing this inducer change out. But so one thing I noticed um, was both yesterday and today, I've only been using this Malco piece for a couple weeks, but it's like too fat on the end. Like if you see how thick the like surround is around the actual quarter inch opening versus like a regular, a regular one, there's almost no shoulder. And so I noticed when I'm working tight on, uh, you know, on on nuts or uh, screws that are super like close, I can't get the I can't get the Malco to like seat up on it. Like it just doesn't, it won't grab. So one thing I noticed with these, uh, they're pretty cool, but you know, just like any tool, there's there no there's never a single solution for everything. It's always just uh, there's always a little bit of compromise. So. Uh, makes me a little bit sad, but now I have to carry additional nut drivers with, or additional, yeah, nut drivers with me. Can't just, can't just rely on the one. All right, got the inducer pulled off. Uh, now you can see the full-on collector box. It's pretty easy to, pretty easy to just pop that out, slap the new one on. There's the new guy. They went with uh, no clear plastic this time. They went with black plastic, so should be pretty cool. Um, don't forget when you're doing service work, zip ties are your friend. <laughs> it's nice to be able to pull the inducer off, but leave everything else connected. Just swing it to the side. And um, so I'll be able to swap that pan quickly and then just replace that inducer. It'll pop right in. Done. Bam, bam, just like that. Brand new pan in place. It's the new black plastic. Got that set up. Inducer still hanging, ready to go back. Uh, let's see what we got. Here's the old guy, the old dirty bird. It's got a little junk in it, a little junk in its trunk. So we'll get that guy out of here. Uh, got the inducer, swapped out the uh, swapped out the one inch water column pressure switch. Uh, they didn't have this one. Uh, they didn't give me this one to swap out, so maybe it already has been. I don't know, I have no idea. Um, one thing I was gonna ask you guys on, these, on this equipment, 
Um, it's been a while since I've worked on one of these, but I'm gonna try to hold this thing and also video it with the phone. Got the knee, the knee brace. I'm gonna cut this. All right, so when we were doing Coleman, we used to go through on all these and the factory rep told us to pop out these little yellow collars on the inside. Um, so I don't know if you guys are doing that or not, but that's what he said. And so I think I'm gonna do it on this one. Let's see, it should come out pretty easy. You just use a screwdriver. Bam, just like that, son. This piece, garbage. All right, ready to roll, York. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Everything's back together. Uh, collector box back there, all screwed in place. Pressure switches mounted up, inducer mounted up. If I look at my pile of screws, they're all gone, <laughs> which means all the screws are back in the right place. So I'm gonna throw this door on. I don't know if you can hear these kids in the background screaming, but I'm in the basement of like a preschool and they're upstairs just like straight doing work. They're like hammering away, building something, I don't know. Anyway, there we go. Power on. We'll see if it lights up, here we go. By the way, this inducer sounds terrible. But that's okay, let's see. We got hot surface igniter, so that looks pretty good. And there we go. That's the sound I like to hear, gas on gas on gas. That's it, job complete. We'll let this one dry out. Take a, keep a watch on it for a minute, make sure we're not leaking at all, but uh, I think we did it, boys. All right, just finished up the, uh, finished up the drain pan swap on that York. Uh, turned out pretty good. Got the parts right there in that box. And uh, yeah, seems like it's running good. Got here at uh, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, checking the time. Uh, if you can see that flex, it's 8.50. So I did a condensate drain pan swap and a pressure switch in under an hour. Boom. 